what is up everybody welcome back to my channel this is the day everybody's been waiting for week 10 february 29th <sighs> so play along with me we're gonna go over significance of this day featuring this location and some of my other favorite locations throughout the region and by the way, those locations will be photos. First off, um, let's just say it happens once every four years. One thing I do know is that it, when a leap year happens, at the very end of it, at the very end of the year, we get a leap second. And the leap second is why is a very rare moment where it goes from 59 to 60 instead of 59 to 0. Back to what I was saying. You know, an event that happens once every few centuries, if not once every millennia, there would be some of their significance where February 29th falls on a Saturday or a Sunday. And since we got to that this year, in a once in a lifetime experience we bring you this video I bring you this video the channel as well so hi 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 this is getting boring how about this I need you guys opinion This probably looks like sufficient space to do soccer trick shots. And it looks like a regulation sized soccer field, so if I did get a second goal I could put it like on the other put it on the other side and Oh great. 1v1s, 2v2s, 3v3s. Okay, we get it, we get it, we get it. Alright. Oh, I forgot this thing has a jogging track too, so. So with that, Let's go ahead and time lapse a single. Let's time lapse a single lap around this thing. Let's go. Twelve o'clock midnight. It is dark and everybody is still sleeping, including myself. But here's a rare picture looking south on around that time. Four o'clock AM. The doors inside the terminals at San Diego International Airport have opened up. Passengers have started checking in for the first flights to depart. The first takeoff roll is at 6.30 a.m. While the departure boards may show times before that, those times are pushback times. The first takeoff roll is literally at 6.30 a.m. Seven a.m. 
as the first flight takes off. We happen to catch this one in the sky on the takeoff path. Just a few miles, or so you say, a few knots south of the airport itself. Fast forwarding four hours later, 12 o'clock noon. This is a clip from the series of clips I took the day I filmed the intro to this video on a nice leisurely run and luckily this area was not busy on the day I filmed this. And who knows, maybe I'll make it a routine to do, let's say, morning run. That'll be something. Maybe I might do that, maybe I won't. And I'm back. 3 o'clock p.m. The afternoon rush hour. Look at all that traffic. Everyone hates traffic. We all know this. Even I hate traffic. And this is why we have radio. Six o'clock p.m. Headed home on a lovely, after a lovely day in Oceanside. This is from that Followers Control My Life. I have a bunch of bonus footage that is coming in the spring. 7 o'clock p.m. That same train arrives at San Diego Santa Fe Depot. Eleven thirty p.m. For the security guards at closed airports, there's a lot of checks that need to be done, especially in Terminal One at San Diego International Airports. The leap seconds at twenty-three fifty-nine sixty hours, which is about half an hour from this timestamp. When the last flight of the night takes off, there are more checks, and then the doors are shut and locked. The day is over for San Diego International Airport. And that brings us back to midnight. And it literally is midnight when I'm filming this. But we've reached the end of the video. I just want to say a big happy birthday to anyone who was actually born on February 29th. I mean, really. And... I personally don't know anyone who was born on the 29th. This video is to announce the launch of my new freelance photography Instagram profile. It is called Shots by TSC. That's S-H-O-T-B-Y-T-S-C. Link in description. And with that, um, this, this term of the week is going to be a photography term. It's called Juxtaposition. It's a point of view using very unusual angles. Also, the fact that two things are uh, being seen are placed close together with a contrasting effect. So there's two meanings. But the first term is very common. So if somebody takes a photo and it's upside down, it's juxtaposed, like in juxtaposition, that's juxtapositioning. Like, regardless if you're doing a bird's eye, worm's eye, or a direct level, or a perspective where you're becoming the subject, well, basically, if it's out of angle, then it's juxtaposed. I'll do some more photography terms eventually, but this is just a great start to it. All right, everybody, for real, though, thanks for watching, and... Wow, I cannot believe it that I actually uploaded on February 29th. This deserves a big moment of applause. Yes. And 
and send your little clapping hands emoji. There we go. <laughs> ah. I can finally breathe. <sighs> All right, for real though, next video is tomorrow, March 1st. Okay, and uh, it's going to be some other material that I had for a while. But for real though, thank you for watching. Like subscribe, hit the bell, join the notification squad, and we will see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.